Good day guys. Today we're going to be looking at electronic media. Electronic media is basically transmission media and it is wireless and wired. Before I go into details, I'm going to remind you to subscribe, like, share, comment and remember guys to watch the ads. Alright, so now we're looking at transmission media. Transmission media is a medium through which information travels from the sender to the receiver. Communication media is divided into two types, wire and wireless media. Wired media, transmission of data over a wired based communication technology. Where wireless media is concerned, that involves no physical link between the devices. The wired media you know would require a physical link, but the wireless requires no physical link between the devices. So if you are asked to differentiate between wired media and wireless media, you are able to do so. Types of wired media. So we have the guided media, which are waves are guided along on a physical path. And we, look, we talk about twisted pair cables, coaxial cables, optical fiber cables, when we talk about wired media. Types of wireless media now. So it's unguided media, guided but use electromagnetic waves. So we're talking about radio wave, microwave, satellite communication system. All right, so we're going to look some more on wired media. We're looking now at twisted pair cables. So it's two wires that are twisted around each other. There are two types of twisted pair cables. The only difference is that extra shield is provided in the shielded twisted pair cables. Uh, twisted pair cables are generally used in telephone lines and local area networks, otherwise called LAN. We're looking at coaxial cable now, and this consists of two concentric conductors. The external conductor, which is a metallic jacket, is used for shielding. This type of cable is generally used to connect cable boxes, TV sets, digital transmission, and LAN. And you can look for yourself to see if it is looking pretty much like what you see on your screen. Wired media optical fiber cable. These are used to guide light rays. Every fiber consists of a glass core surrounded by a glass cladding. Core and cladding are then covered with a protective coating. So like the cable boxes, the TV sets, and the digital transmission and LAN, you'll find that there. Um, usually use the optical fiber optic cable. The structure of an optical fiber is on your screen so if you look at the picture there you'll notice it is showing you exactly what it described to you so we're looking at radio waves it has omnidirectional antenna frequencies between 3 kilohertz to 1 gigahertz used for multicasts such as radio and television and paging system radio waves can penetrate buildings easily so that it can be widely used for indoors and outdoor communication. Microwave. Microwaves are small when compared with the waves used in radio broadcasting. Their range is in between radio waves and infrared waves. And we already saw where radio waves is between 3 kilohertz and 1 gigahertz. Microwaves travel in line, straight lines, and they will be affected lightly by the troposphere. And the troposphere is really the lowest region of the atmosphere. Next, we're going to look at satellite communication system. Satellite provides communication links between various points on Earth. In this communication, electromagnetic waves are used as carriers. These signals 
carry the information such as voice, audio, video, or any other data between ground and space, and vice versa. So it goes both ways. So that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to remind you to subscribe, like, share, comment, and remember, guys, to watch the ads. Bye, guys.